Good morning, friends, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Drew. If you're new here, it is currently 6:01 a.m. I've been awake since 4 a.m. I'm feeling kind of crazy because I woke up so early in the morning. Um, but welcome back to another one of our daily vlogs. I haven't yet decided if I want this to be a daily vlog or a week in the life. So currently, right now, I am making my husband some breakfast before we leave. So today is a really, really big week for us, or for us, I mean Gabe. Today is the first appointment of his really big appointment we have been praying and hoping for it for months. We've been trying to get in with this hospital for months. Um, and and finally, after all his testings and referrals and everything like that, we are finally in and we are so excited. And we know that it's a God thing for sure. How everything turns out is always a God thing and we are just so blessed and happy. Um, but today is one of his really big appointments and it's literally gonna take all day. Basically, today's the first day where it's like his consultations with each doctor at this hospital. And then for the rest of the week, he has like literally an appointment every single day. So I thought we'd bring you guys along. Um, no, I really don't film when we're in the hospital. Um, just for Gabe's privacy reasons and you know like doctor anxiety and Anyways, what I was trying to say is I'm just gonna be vlogging this week just because we do daily vlogs um, I wanted to take you guys along and what it looks like on days that we have Appointments and weeks that we have appointments like this Um, because I really don't share that stuff on TikTok because it always ends up on the wrong side of TikTok And we're not about that life. So this morning. I've already been drinking my palm juice It's just really good for you and I like to drink it and um, I'm making Gabe a chorizo potato taco because we don't have any eggs, and I didn't tell him that. No. Oh, okay. uh, no. <laughs> Anyways, what I was trying to say is, is today this week's appointment is basically like they made him. So today's like the big day where he goes in and gets tested and stuff and all that, and then like. Wednesday, Thursday, like he has appointments and stuff. And like if his tests today go well, they'll cancel them. But if not, they'll keep them for this week. It's like really cool how it works. Like that way you don't have to wait months to come back in. They basically pre-book them for you. And then if you don't need to go back, they cancel them. And then like today, one of his tests is like three hours long, this lady was saying. And she was like, if this morning, cause we're going with to be there at like seven something. They're like, if this morning his tests are too much for him and he's too tired then he'll have to come back and all this stuff because this one is like three hours long and i'm just like oh my gosh my poor stinking lovey he's all like eating it up um we don't have any eggs but i did do the chorizo and potato i don't know if it's gonna taste right so we'll put some cheese on it well thank you my love so it'll be like i thought we had eggs but i forgot yesterday with michael i used the last so just if you don't like it we can go get you something for sure and then yes i did ask um he can eat he's not he doesn't have to fast or anything this morning for his little test what do you think honestly i didn't know how i was gonna feel with no eggs what? with no eggs but honestly this is really good and the tortillas all are um wheat i hate wheat tortillas but the way you did them you can't taste the wheat I put them on the stove and warmed them up like you showed me that one time. Mm. Well, it's delicious. I can't even taste the wheat. How are you feeling this morning? What you thinking? I feel good. Um, I mean, I'm not excited for MRIs. Well, I hate MRIs. But it's a good thing to get it done. I think your MRI is on Thursday, my love. Oh, for real? Today is just like testing and figuring out because like this is a whole new hospital. They have to like test you and do all the things. So it might be a lot of blood work, maybe. Um, I'm wondering if they're gonna make you wear a hospital gown. Probably. Mm. I'm not saying, oh, I'm gonna wear this, I'll just wear this. Yeah. But, I feel like a, um, a needle cushion. <laughs> I don't know, since I've gotten this, or found out about it, you know how many times I've been with a needle? You know. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Especially when we were sleeping at the hospital every few hours. Oh my god. Oh, stick, 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 stick. Okay, y'all. So y'all are always asking, like, does Gabe ever get mad at you? Like, is he rude? And I would say the one thing that he hates oh, is gosh, whenever yeah. I bring cups like this into the truck. Even if I drink all the coffee, it just irritates him that I didn't get a cup with a lid. And I didn't mean to do it. Like, I try not to do it. Like, if you know something that bothers your husband or your wife, like, you try not to do it, but then you end up just doing it because it's like it's habit. And so I did it this morning and I'm sorry. But I don't get mad at you, my love. It just, it just is like, you always leave coffee in my truck. And so every time I get in my truck in the morning, like the next day, I'm like, why does it smell like dirty coffee in here? 
Because you love me. I do love you, but every now and, and then there's a little coffee cup in your door over there that I can't even see. And I have been doing better. So since I met Gabe, he's always told me, like, why do you get a venti? Why do you get a Route 44 drink? Why do you get a large? Like, you don't even drink it. I think it's just my brain no, thinking. see, I don't care that you get large sizes. You just you drink just, two sips. You just always get irritated that I get the big one and then I don't finish it. And exactly. I think that's like, the one thing that he, like, picks on me about is how, like, I don't finish any drink that I get, which I try, but I'm such a big drinker. Like, if you know me, I have a bottle of water. I'm a crystal light. I have my coffee. I have a shit. I have something all the time. Crystal light? You mean liquid gold? Liquid gold. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's so funny that there's like little things that irritate different types of people and that's the thing that Gabe gets irritated with me about. So, you learned something new today. Welcome to 7 a.m. traffic. Who would have thought there'd be traffic at 7 in the morning? We did. That's why we left two hours early. <laughs> I know. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Holy mess. Guys, you gotta travel like, when you live on this side of Houston, to get to Houston at this time in the morning, even though Houston's like... 40 minutes from our house, you gotta leave about, about it's about three hours to use them. Really? And I think, look, it looks like New York, but it's Houston. But it's Houston. This is Texas. Look, guys, we're going to New York. This is Texork. 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 Have you ever been to Houston? Let me know down below. Straight. Then use the left lane to take exit. Cleveland? Hey, that's where my friends from the boutique are from. I can see you. If you're watching this, I remember you. <laughs> if you're watching this, I remember you. <laughs> Mommy still sipping on my coffee, so my husband won't get mad at me. Sipping on sweet tea. <laughs> it's only 7.15, and I feel like I've been awake since, like, um, yesterday. Me too. I'm actually really tired. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm pretty tired. Yeah, you look tired. Uh, and for anyone going to ask, I offered to drive. I also offered to take my car, so it'd be easier for me to drive in Houston traffic. But if you have a husband, you know how sweet they are, and he, I think it would give him more anxiety to see me drive in Houston than him drive in Houston. Well, honestly, you drive really good, though. Yeah. Also, he got his first massage the other day, and I think it was really good for him. So we're going to get him on a schedule of getting massages because she also massaged his head and, like, touch pressure points and stuff. I think that's really good for, like, his headaches and just, like, daily or, like, monthly, like, um, what's the word? Toxins? Therapy and, like, getting the toxins out and everything like that. So um, I think it really relaxed him and helped you out. It was okay. And, like, your back isn't as, like, tight as it usually is. Um... Yeah, it was okay. Honestly, he didn't like it. <laughs> I liked it. I would rather, I'd rather you give me a massage. I can't do it like her. Yeah. I, got, I don't got hands like that. See, the thing is, if you do it, I like this. I like gentle night. I don't care about toxins and pressure. I don't, like, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys never had a massage, that massage freaking hurt. But the thing is, me doing this feels good right now, but what she did for you will feel good for longer because she got all the toxins yeah, out. But what you do for me feels better Okay, longer. okay, but, um, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> we are almost there. Look, guys, it's like New York, but Texas. Yep. Hello, New York. If anybody's ever been, y'all can see right there, there's Minute Maid Park. That's the Astros. I've met all of them. Actually, fun fact, my dad used to be really good friends with an Astros player, like, back in the day. And, like, literally, like, hung out with him all the time. And then, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I knew an Astros player. I'm so thinking cool. Um, I'm thinking cute. I'll tell you what his name is, like, after I turn the clip off, because I don't know, like, if I should say it on the internet. Um, but, like, there's, like, pictures of him. Like, we have his hat and, like, his jersey and stuff. And then the the soccer. Where's the soccer stadium? Uh, It's a little bit further. I'll show you. It, it's, it's right there. Yeah, so, it used there. to be the BBVA Compass, like, uh, one. But they, that bank turned into PNC or something. So now, yeah, you see that orange thing right there. Yeah, that's the Houston Dynamo Stadium. The Dynamotes. The Dynamotes. She said, "That's the Dynamotes." Look at this traffic, guys. Houston traffic's not for the faint of heart. It's bad. So, um, let me see. Look, there's like a random house right here. Someone put a random house right there. That thing's been there for a while too. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. They like uprooted it and moved it, but like. It's yeah. like been there for a while. So look, here is the Minute Maid Park. It's where you go watch the Astros and stuff like that. And then, what's this, the J-Dub, what's that? Um, oh, George R. Brown. George R. Brown, it's like a huge convention center. Like that's where a lot of people come to do different types of conventions and stuff. Yeah, like um, the big, like, um, I, I, me and Drew have been to a lot of the, uh, conventions there, like uh, the Hunter's Extravaganza and stuff like, like that. that. Yeah. 
Same with the Reliance Stadium. That's really big. It's where the rodeo is. Oh yeah, the, uh, the NRG. NRG, yeah. But it's also You're called right. It Reliant. used to be. It used to be Reliant. Now it's NRG. Oh. But Which I'm sure other people know that. If I like. Yeah. That's so cool. You live in Houston. Yeah, girl. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, girl. It actually is not that fun. It stinks. It's dirty. It is dirty. Hey, I've never been to a city bigger than Houston. Drew's been to New York. Okay, y'all. Let me tell y'all. We were supposed to go to New York on our honeymoon, but stuff happened and we weren't able to go. Um, but let me just tell y'all, I stinking love New York. I loved it so much. I'm that weird person that loved the city and like the dirty and like the fun. I feel like I was Carrie Bradshaw walking in a fashion show. I stinking loved it. So I think me and Gabe should go back to New York this year and go for Christmas and like his 21st birthday. I wouldn't mind going out to New York. I don't know. I'm more of a, a my type of vacations are not really those type of vacations. My type of vacations would be a hey, chilling on the beach with my lovey do. Um, also, Sierra and Tyler are supposed to go back to Vegas for her birthday, and I think we're going. So I think his parents are gonna go, we're gonna go, and they're gonna go, and it's gonna be so stinking fun because that will be like we'll both be 21, and then like only like a few weeks later it'll be our one year anniversary, and our one year anniversary trip, y'all, is about to be stinking bomb. I'm it's so gonna, excited. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be so fun. Be fun. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. So with trips like that, you have to plan them early because it's such a big cost up front. Big so cost, um. Big trip. I think in December we're gonna book it and like do like a little payment thing that you do on those things. Um, but I'm excited to tell you guys where we're going. Um, it's so much fun that we have a vlog camera now because we can like vlog it and remember it forever. Um, with our honeymoon, we were supposed to go to New York, like I said, but we didn't go. And I feel like our little trip to Bernie, Texas was honestly the best thing for us because it was so much new happening in that moment that I feel like traveling and going on an airplane would have just been too much. Like, I think I'm glad that we did a small one and then for our one year we'll be able to do something so big and so fun. But I'm going to break it to you. We're not going to New York for one year. No, we're not going to New York. We're going to go somewhere. A big day. That's exciting. Okay, so we're in the parking garage and I wanted to show you guys these freshies that I got. Shameless best oh, friend plug right now. So my best friend Morgan, we've been friends since like, how old were we? Like, it's been a long time. I think she said it was like, fifth grade going into sixth grade summer. So we were fifth grade, basically sixth graders. Um, and she makes freshies, which are my favorite thing. Y'all know I love me some small goods. Um, so hers is called Heaven in a Bottle Freshies. We literally have um, like her at all the events because we love her so much. So this one, she just made me. It's a black and purpy. Pur Ooh, I'm black and purpy. That's a black and purpy flower. <laughs> it's a black and purple smiley face flower. That's and cute. she mixed two um, scents for me. It's called Pump Spice. It's Diva and Pink Punch. Stinking good. Oh my gosh. Let me smell it. All right, that does I good. love me some pink up pump spice. Let's go, girl. I like it. And then she also made me this one. It says, Let's Go Goals. Mm. Oh, um, gals. Gals, girls. Um, anyways, this one is marshmallow fluff. It's one of her fall scents. You smell it. It smells good. It smells like leather. I mm. like that. I like it. You don't like that one? No, I like them. I like all my Morgan's freshies. And then she also made my mom the stinking oh, yeah, cutest, cute. like, cowboy spooky ghost freshie. And she always mixes for my mom diva and leather. Like, come on. How stinking good. Stop it, Morgan. Morgan Marie. That's what's, is that actually her middle name? No. Uh, my mom, okay. my mom <laughs> didn't know I'm going to go. So anyways, I'm going to link her business down below if you guys want to check her out. Her freshies are my legit fave. Guys, her freshies are the best that money can buy. Not only are they stinking cute and adorable, but she always has new shapes, new scents, like all the time. And they always last. They last for a really long time. I always get Diva personally. Um, I know that there's like some scents that don't last as long. Oh, like, let, me for tell, me. let me tell them what kind of scent they need for their man. Okay, which one? Which one? Which one? If you're a guy... Or if you've got a man out there, get them the mahogany teakwood scent. So good. So good. And she makes all different types of like shapes and stuff for men as well. But again, her name is Heaven in the Bottle Freshies. Um, her name is Morgan. Love her. Love her freshies. She says thank you. I went ahead and put the marshmallow fluff one in here, but I wanted to show y'all this one is one that she made him like last month, I think. And it still smells pretty good. It's the black ice and leather, which is our favorite. I like that one a lot. Hey, she's got, but like for the guy shape, she's got all kinds of stuff. She's got like, um, she's got, uh, 
duck one. She's got uh, shotgun Dog one, shells. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. So a lot of fun stuff. It looks cool. They smell great. And we're also supporting a really cool person. She's really cool. So did you fart? Um, that's the marshmallow fluff. <laughs> well, my fluff mixed with its fluff. <laughs> Let's do an OOTD since we're early. So basically my whole outfit is from Graceland Marie Boutique. The hoops are Graceland Marie. This black dress with pockets is. And then these tinnies are from Graceland Marie Boutique. They're so stinking cute. My phone case is from Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront down below. Um, and yeah, I- So your backpack. Really oh, and my backpack is John Hart. It has my QC monogram on it. And I have everything that we need in here to get our day started. So we're gonna go find the cafeteria and have second breakfast because what else would we do? Because I'm fat. Hey, you are not. Don't talk about yourself. No, I am. I can't stand when you do that on video. Oh. Like, honestly, I'm putting this in the video so that people can know. It literally hurts my heart when you talk about yourself like that. But I'm like, a, I'm like sexy fat. And every time you say that, it hurts other people's feelings because they love you so much and they don't want to see you be mean to yourself. I'm not being mean. I'm just being honest. You can be, but you're not. You're perfect just the way you are. But for health reasons, I do need to lose weight. Right, baby? Yeah, and you are. You're doing really good. You're really trying. Thank you, love you. I love you. I love you. Please don't be ugly about yourself. Okay, I'm on. Fun fact, we didn't get second breakfast, and I didn't even get a first breakfast, and I think I'm going to like. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you get up and you move around, the doctor comes in, so here I am, doctor. Come on in, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, I never filmed my games appointments, but I'm literally so bored. Um went back for like an eye appointment and they're gonna like fix his like glasses and stuff and so i'm starving i didn't eat anything this morning and it's 11 58 so it's 12 and we've been here since 7 like 7 like 20 ish i think is what it was i don't remember i'm sure the past will tell you i'm not sure past me earlier for clips go tell you but i'm eating some cheese And the guy was like, you can't be in here with your mask down. And so I was like, can I go in the hallway? He was like, yeah. So I'm in the hallway eating my Cheetos by myself. Yeah. So I was like, oh. and I go grab And Dasani. And I know Dasani's like, um, salt water, but that's all he had. But yeah, we just been chilling. We got some cool news. We just got a bunch of like. Same old, same old, but a bunch of different stuff this time. Every time we come, it's different. But I'm waiting for Gabe. If Gabe wants to talk about it, he can talk about it. But, um, like, we're waiting for his other doctor to send an MRI. If they don't send his MRI, then we have to come back here tomorrow and get him an MRI. Well, hopefully, the doctor will send it. If not, I'm going to start all over, and that's not fun. But I feel like I'm doing like ASMR. <laughs> Let's go to Everyone can hear me. What's going on, boys and girls? Whew. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling kind of. Yeah. It was a long day. It is currently three o'clock. It's two fifty-five. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. We got here at seven thirty this morning, and <clears throat> yeah, it's it's three o'clock. We got here at seven thirty. We were gonna get some more food this morning, but um. By the time we got to where we we're supposed to be, there wasn't enough time, so we went ahead and sat, got the paperwork filled out, and then it's just been nonstop since then. So, if you don't know, when you come to, uh, you know, a hospital like this, they like put all your appointments on the same days, and so you don't just go to one appointment; you go to like five or six, and so you just go back to back to back to back to back, plus labs in between. So it's it's just it's a it's a lot, but we finished it. And yeah, we have to come back tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. to get an MRI. And we're coming back tomorrow in the morning at 7.30 a.m. to get another MRI. Which, which I cannot stand. I hate MRIs. But 
Ah, that seems to be the the deal tomorrow Woo, in the morning and yeah i think we're gonna get something to eat i'm starving we haven't eaten since 5 30 this morning drew hasn't eaten anything i had cheetos I oh you had some I cheetos. Had cheetos note to self i should listen to you guys i should have packed some snacks i didn't know if you were like allowed to bring snacks inside inside of a hospital like that because like it wasn't like we were staying at the hospital we were like bouncing different things and so i didn't realize that i was allowed everybody had a lunch kit everybody everybody's wife had a lunch kit and i was like yeah, everybody had a backpack with snacks, and I'm over here like, man, I need a snack. So I went on a scout adventure hunt, and I found a vending machine. She and did find I a vending like machine. I ran like whenever it was two floors. It was no, it was on floor three, number two. Three was three floors down. And I would like, I ran, got this out, and I ran back. And every time I was like this close to missing you going back into your appointment, so I was like, it was like every time we got to go know. to go try to grab something, they'd come get me. So I'm like, go grab something, go grab something, they come get me. And I would hurry, yeah. But yeah, that's but yeah. Kind of today so we're gonna go find you something to eat and then probably go home and rest because you seem a little tired yeah we eat some eat and then go home and rest and then just take the day slow probably go to bed a little early tonight because we've got to be back here at appointments at 7 30 mm -hmm. so i mean 7 leave. 15 so and we left this morning at 6 like 15 and we got here at 7 30 yeah so we're gonna have to leave really early we have to leave at like five something in the morning Yay. Yay. And I offered to drive. <laughs> I've offered to drive a million times and he won't let me. Oh, yeah. Drew keeps offering to drive. I love you, baby. But. He won't let me drive in Houston. <laughs> this is a big truck and a little tiny parking garage with a lot of corners. So I'm going to drive out of here and well, I'll drive. And by the time I'll get to drive and I'm not going to want to switch anyway. So I just let I you be. I don't know I offered. I just let you be the sweet little passenger. Give me a kiss. Mm. I love you. I'm You're sorry. my support team. You're my baby. Give me a kiss. I love you. I love you. But actually, you I will. so good today. Thank you, my love. You took care of me all day. I will say, after being in this hospital and seeing so many people going through so much. It is so sad. It is so sad. But I am blessed to be, um, to just have what I have. Even though I have something that, you know, sucks. It's nowhere near yeah. as bad as a lot of other people's um, medical situations. So... Me and Drew are definitely going to be keeping all those people we saw today. It was really place. sad. And it especially sad. where we were at the last minute, we were next to the Child Cancer Center. Oh, yeah. Oh a, lot of, a lot of young kids. It was so sad. It was but sad. what's crazy about what you have is a lot of doctors tell you, congratulations, you got the best tumor possible. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's so sad because they're like. like yeah, if you had to pick a tumor card, you picked a good one. They, they, every doctor tells him that. They're like, you should be thankful. And I'm just like, yes, sir. <laughs> we're like hey <laughs> for sure and it's we're really thankful. sad like you see so many people in distress and like it, you just i just sit there and i'm just like lord please be with them like especially the little kids like that's it's so, so sad i know, see, know it's so sad poor babies but yeah. anyways yeah we had a good time i thought not a good time but we it was it, we, we make bad. it fun we, we, we so make it fun. fun we made it fun we did what we had to do got it done we got tomorrow morning and then i believe i have another appointment or is that a call visit so basically what happens is they run all these tests today and then tomorrow he does his MRI and then we're supposed to come back Friday for the doctor to basically go over like what he wants to happen for Gabe. Exactly. But that doctor had something happen and so we're doing like a Zoom. He's going to call, gonna right? Do a Zoom meeting. That's the same guy we met this morning, right? Uh, yeah. So okay. basically, oh, we're about to, we ran out of uh, space. Hold on. Is it going? Okay, there we go. I had to delete some old videos. But I get rid of some videos. Basically, today we ran a bunch of tests, a bunch of lab work, a bunch of talking, a bunch of getting to know who he was and all the things. Yeah. And then Friday, they're going to call and basically tell you what exactly they want to do, like his treatment plan and everything like that. Um, a lot of people were saying surgery today because it is shrinking and it was, they did, he did a bunch of like eye exams and stuff. And basically, the first doctor gave him the complete wrong eye thing. He wasn't even supposed to have to wear glasses. Um, but basically, it's, the lining of his whatever is like thin. I don't know. You can explain it. So basically, the glasses they gave me was the wrong prescription, and they said this guy said, he said you actually this time you it seemed like you passed the thing for driving for your driving. He's good to drive all by the way. You're you're good to drive without glasses. He said, but he said if you want glasses, get them. He said because you can get your vision a lot better because it's not very good. And then he showed me what if he could prescribe me whichever ones he got me. And he showed me on the thing and said, this is what it would look like if you did wear some glasses. He goes, that's your choice. He goes, you're right on the verge. He said, but you did pass. And so I liked it. So I think I might get those glasses fixed glasses with the new prescription. and get new lenses put in them. Um, but so there's that. And then also they, they did say where the tumor's at. Obviously, it sits right where the optical nerves cross. And um, 
they said there is some wearing on my optical nerve. They're get, it's getting uh, like there's like a thinning on my optical nerve, meaning that tumor was pushing up against it. So they're gonna take that into account, um, and then some other eye problems I had they're gonna take into account. And then I think they're gonna get with the surgeon. They're gonna get with the surgeon. They're gonna the get with my call us Friday. Yes. He's the one calling us Friday. That's right. That's the right. surgeon. Okay. So they're all going to talk to the neurologist, the neurosurgeon. Everybody's going to talk. Endocrine, all this stuff. And they're all going to talk, kind of come up with what they want to do. And they're either going to let me know, hey, um, here's your options. You can do either. Or they're going to let me know, hey, we want to do this or whatever whatever it is. So um, it, this place definitely got us a lot further than the other hospital we've been going to. I think this place definitely it was harder to get into. But I think a lot of the people we ran into were a lot more knowledgeable and um, they actually did a lot further steps and did a lot more further examination and, and found things that we didn't know. And I feel like they care about you. Like they also asked about his mental health and like how you were. Like, did you need help? Did you need to talk to somebody? Like, I really like that this morning. Whenever yeah. he, before he even started, he was just like, how are you? Like, what do you feel? Are you depressed or do you feel this way? Do you feel that way? We have so many resources for you. And that just made me feel good that they cared about your well being and the way you feel and right. your health and total, I agree. you know what I'm saying they care about your total health including your mental health and i right. loved that and everybody we ran into here was super nice so nice so, so nice. nice everybody was nice everybody had a smile on their face everybody was just phenomenal I and feel so, much more safe and secure. Like, I feel like you're more safe and secure here. Like, the other hospital was like, you know, but this one, I feel like they actually want to take care of you and are there to help you. Like, everybody. You know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, even the and no that shade against you. the other hospital because there were some really great people at that one as well. It's just this one's more, this one is like completely dedicated to I agree. his like needs. Exactly. The, the things I got going on, everybody's very knowledgeable. Everybody knows the doctors. It's just, and everything's super tight knit. Like, it seems like everybody, like you were saying, is just like, cares about you mm -hmm. which i liked a lot yeah but anyways guys this I'm is hungry. i am starving so me and you're gonna get some to eat we're gonna show you what we're gonna get to eat i don't know we're kind of tossing around a couple ideas we'll let you know when we get there and you guys are gonna see um, it'll probably be a few minutes for us but it's gonna be instantly for you so let's go let's go i need you now <laughs> <laughs> Back home with the doodles now, and today was a crazy day. So Bruce like Bruce like trying to figure out what that he's is. He's like, what the heck are y'all doing? Bro. Anyways, we woke up at four. I woke up at four a.m. and got him up at five a.m. when we went and we got there. I don't remember the exact timeline. I'm sure past us remembers, but future me don't remember what time we got there. I think we got there at like seven thirty or seven forty something. Yeah, we got there at seven. Trying to think because I remember going like, oh yeah, we got here an hour. We and got here at like eight. Some we got there like and we had like it was like eight. By the time we got there, it was eight twenty when we got to his first appointment. Well, no, okay, so we pulled up in the parking garage at seven. Like what was it? It was seven forty. I don't remember. I don't remember. And then by the time we went all the way down the hall, figured out where we were going, found out what room it was, went up the elevators, got there. It was like seven. It was 820. It was like, yeah, it, I think it was like, uh, yeah, 8, 8, 15, 820. And then we were like, I'm glad we came when we did. And we didn't even have time to go get like a snack or anything. And then he had his, all his blood tests. He talked to a doctor for like an hour. And then at 11, we left the blood area and we went to the eye place and tell them how stinking long we're at the stinking eye place. Oh my gosh. The eye, honestly, I thought that had been the quickest appointment. 11 to 3. Guys, that was the longest appointment. It was over three hours. It was oh. 11 to 3, 3 something, and we left. Oh, yeah, so four hours. Yeah. About four hours. No, literally. I, for eyes. Like, literally. Wow! Well, Bitey face. They're biting each other in the face because that's what they play, and they got Bitey face. Maybe. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy dude. Oh, look at him. He's he nuts. I did my face. Oh, my. Ah! But, uh, yeah, so that took forever, but it's like they kept sending me out of the room to go wait. So, like, back in the room. It was crazy. The room, like, they the dilated room. him and then they put him in the waiting room. And then he did dilate and then he went back in. And then they like, checked him in the back. It was like, it was insane. It, it was, was really back busy, and forth, though. Back and forth, back but, and um, yeah, that was our day today. Thank you guys so much for watching our vlog. Um, we will, guys, will update you when we know more. But we are about to go to bed because we have to wake up and be at the hospital again at 7 15. And so we're going to go to bed because we're. Exhausted. We're exhausted, guys. Today was literally just appointments, literally. nothing else. And like everyone in TikTok's like, I don't believe you, and I'm no, like, it's it was what? It's been all day. 
<laughs> oh, she's waiting. Look, Kirby drops her squeakies right in front of you, and then watch. She goes. She looks. She stares at you. Just sits there. Oh, my right. finger. Go ahead. Alrighty, we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so we'll much for watching. We'll one. catch you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Moosey said, what the? Moosey said, what?